Messi might face an extended ban after his first red card at Barcelona career long 17 years. We are screwed, angry and upset, says Griezmann. While PSG Sporting Director Leonardo spoke openly about the prospect of signing Lionel Messi this year. Hey guys, welcome to Studio Football where we go through the most important and recent news regarding football. If you enjoy this type of videos, make sure you like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell as I upload almost every day. And also let me know in the comment section below which team is more likely to buy Messi. And without further ado, let's get started with the news of the day. Coman empathizes with Lionel Messi's frustration after the superstar captain was sent off in Barcelona Supercopa the Spina final loss against Athletic Bilbao. Jovic couldn't have imagined a better comeback with Frankfurt after struggling at La Liga champions Real Madrid. Sergio Ramos is out of contract at the end of the season and reportedly turned down a one-year deal from Madrid and the Spain international future remains uncertain. Chelsea are prepared to break their transfer record to land Borussia Dortmund star Erling Holland this summer. Kieran Trippier was issued a suspension and a fine of £70,000 on December 23rd after England's Football Association found him guilty of breaking rules related to betting. The defender now must serve the rest of his 10-week ban after his appeal was dismissed by FIFA. AC Milan restored their lead over Inter at the top of the Serie A as Latan Ibrahimovic got both goals at Cagliari. Antonio Conte's side pulled level with the Rossoneri thanks to their impressive victory over Champions Juventus in Sunday's Derby d'Italia. But Zlatan is inspiring Milan's title bid with a prolific fervor and marked his first league start since November in style. Aubameyang maintained his fine scoring record against Newcastle as Arsenal continued to climb the table with their 3 0 victory at Emirates Stadium. Zlatan believes Mario Mandzukic will scare opponents like he does, with Chelsea's Fikayo Tomori also poised to join Serie A leaders Milan. PSG Sporting Director Leonardo believes Mauricio Pochettino can help refine the League One club's identity. Mohamed Salah insisted that he wanted to stay at Liverpool as much as possible, but he said his future was in the club's hands. The Egyptian international is contracted at Liverpool until 2023. Real Madrid had reportedly agreed a deal with Bayern Munich defender David Alaba. With his contract expiring at the end of the season, Alaba has been linked with the Europe's biggest clubs. Mario Mandzukic has returned to Serie A by signing a contract with league leaders AC Milan. The former Juventus striker has agreed a deal until the end of the season with Rossoneri, though it includes the option of a one-year extension. Spurs will have an easy decision to send Gareth Bale back to Real Madrid at the end of the season, unless the forward improves, according to Dimitar Berbatov. Real Madrid have been linked with moves for Kylian Mbappe and David Alaba, and the rumors were put to Zinedine Zidane on Tuesday. However, Zidane didn't want to go into specifics. Thiago Alcantara does not play the Liverpool way and they should be cautious about how influential he becomes, according to the former Reds midfielder Detmar Hamann. Messi has entered the final six months of his contract at Camp Nou and could make a sensational free transfer once his deal expires after this season. PSG and Man City have been tipped as the most likely clubs to sign the six-time Ballon d'Or winner, who was sent off in the 3-2 Supercopa de España loss to Atletico Bilbao on Sunday if he chooses not to extend his contract with Barca. While he says now is not the time to say anything concrete about the possible agreement, Leonardo suggests that the Ligue 1 champions will be ready to make their move should Messi wish to seek a new challenge. Great players like Messi will always be on PSG's list, he told France Football. While on the other hand, Messi has been banned for two domestic matches following his red card in the Supercopa de España final defeat to Atletico Bilbao. It was the first time he has been sent off for the club and only the third red card in his entire 17-year career for Barca and Argentina. The Royal Spanish Football Federation confirmed on Tuesday that Messi will be suspended for Barca's next two matches. Therefore, he will miss the Copa del Rey game against Cornella and the league trip to Elche. But he will return in time for another tussle with Villa Libre and Athletic on January 31st. Messi is probably going through the toughest time of his entire career. Will he stay at Barca or he will join a fresh new team? 
please let me know in the comment section below. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please do not forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updated news like this, as I upload almost every day. Till then, see you guys soon. Peace.